Hi everyone. So Jan said to me the other day, you know, why don't we get rid of this bathtub? You know, we can't afford to use it. Just to fill it up with cold water is expensive enough, but to fill it up with hot water and run the boiler for 20 minutes while it fills up, well that's completely out of the question. And come to that, even before the fuel crisis, we never really used it much. We use a walk-in shower, which is the other side of the bathroom here, and never really used the bathtub much. So why don't we get rid of it and put some nice white covers along here and uh, a mirror on the wall with a makeup mirror for her and uh, she can use the covers for storage, etc. Seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Well, I kind of um, the know a bit about this suggestion. It does make sense and you should always do what's right for you in a house, I guess. But I've always been brought up to believe that one of the things you never do with a house is get rid of the bathtub. And it kind of... Mm, I said, I don't know about getting rid of the bathtub. I said, uh, I'm sure it devalues the house. Well, how's that? I said, well, you know, people still like a bathtub. I'm sure of it, so I looked up on the internet and sure enough, most of the advice is whatever you do, don't get rid of the bathtub, keep it. Uh, it does add value to your home. If you take it out, not only does it take away the value, but it also makes it less likely to be buyable by people. They kind of still want a bathtub. And if you haven't got one in when you're selling it, uh, the property becomes a lot less kind of viable to want to be bought by somebody because they think, well, I've got a bathtub in this and I'll get there because I want the bath back. And yet you think you say this day and age, wouldn't you, that, uh, that bathtubs would be out of fashion. It made me think, what about you guys out there? Have you got a bathtub still? Did you get rid of yours? Uh, do you think like me that you've got to keep your bathtub because it does maintain the value of your property? It doesn't make it less sellable either when you haven't got one. Uh, if you've got one, it's all good. Um, but is it also like me, a waste of space? It's sitting there doing nothing. All the mental, really. <laughs> so, should you just follow your own thing and take the bath out, put your covers in, uh, whatever you want to put in there, uh, and that's fine, because uh, what's it matter? You've got to have it how you want it and not be dictated by house values and prices and things like that, which does make sense. But I thought I'd throw it over to you guys actually. Let me know what you've got and whether you think you should get rid of your bath or keep your bathtub. It's really one of those things that's kind of debatable, isn't it? Love to see your comments in the box below. Uh, what do you think about it? Keep the bath, get rid of the bath. <laughs> okay, that's the question, and I'll leave it up to you guys. Put a few answers down the bottom. For me, it's keep the bathtub. Okay, that's it though. All my stuff, usual place, Derek and Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.